ones do good under pressure. Whoa, whoa. Hey YouTube, it's me and I'm coming at you today because I am doing a what's in my puppy bag or what's in my doggy bag and this is Lily, some of you probably have seen Lily before in my videos, say hello everyone, but this is Lily and I guess I'm going to go on and jump right into this video. Um, well, for one, I keep a doggy comb in her doggy bag because of her hair and her fur. So, you know, I like to keep her cute and nice. Um, I also keep her doggy, like, perfume. She actually just got a bath, so, you know, I'm just going to go on. Hit her one time. Hit her, hit her two times with this. Um, I keep doggy wipes in her bag. I don't know the light may be so like bright you probably cannot see this but I keep I keep wipes in her bag um to you know make sure that her face is clean and she doesn't have any like icky sticky stuff on there um I want to say I got these from Ross from the pet section in Ross Got this from Ross in the pet section. Um, I also keep her harness in her bag. So, doggy treats. A leash, which is pink. And then I keep her... You would think these are wipes, but these are actually not wipes. I just keep the container because inside of this container, I keep all of her doggy bowls, uh, rubber bands. Um, then we have another little comb in here, and this is like a flea comb. Um, yeah, so I keep this in there. Um, I keep her clothes and her outfits in her bag for right now. Um... I think I'm probably going to end up doing like some type of DIY closet for her, you know. But I keep all her clothes in her bag, uh, her doggy shoes. If you follow me on Instagram, then you see that I post pictures up of Lily, you know. Frequently, most of the time lately, I haven't because I've been working like mad crazy hours. But... I think everything is starting to pace itself down now so but I keep her shoes inside of her bag as well like I say you really should go to my Instagram channel and check out some of her pictures and you can see her when she has on her little cute little shoes and how it kind of was the first time she tried them on she wasn't she wasn't pleased at all like she was like what what is this um but yeah also in her doggy bag I keep her pajamas in her doggy bag I keep her pajamas in her doggy bag. Um, shirts and things, I keep them in her doggy bag as well. Let me see. My dog is spoiled. Someone on Instagram said, oh my God, she's so spoiled. She kind of is very spoiled. Um, I mean, but, I mean, she's my baby. And then she has a little polo dress. And it's so cute. And a little like mermaid type of dress. Be a mermaid and make waves. I think that's cute. And then she has this cute and fierce little dress. I think this is cute as well. And she has an Adida dog, Adida dog <laughs> jacket. Um, it got a little hoodie on it and stuff. Um, and I also, like, recently just purchased her, a uh, Halloween costume and something to wear for Christmas. Um, for the Halloween costume, she has a Bumblebee outfit. 
with the little hoodie on it and then it has the little bumblebee like little antenna things i think that's so cute um and then i also got her this christmas dress for when christmas comes she'll you know be dressed for the occasion of christmas and i want to say that we'll pretty much wrap it up <laughs> look at lily like she's laying on my lap she is so spoiled um she is so spoiled that it hurts but this is my baby um and lily is three years old her birthday is june the third so yeah isn't that right mommy's baby that's a mommy's baby yes it's a mommy's baby but she is very 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 spoiled very very small um but it's my baby nevertheless and i almost forgot in the front part of the her doggy bag i keep her little demo sticks um i have to break them for her though because she's so little she's a yorkie i'm pretty sure you can see that she's a yorkie but i break them for her um because if it's too big, normally, like, she's so picky, like, she won't eat it if it's too big. And I, I like, I'm telling you, like, this dog is, she, she is something else. But if it's too big, she won't eat it. Uh, she won't eat it at all if it's too big. She'll just look at it like, are you going to break that for me? Like, are you serious? I can't put that in my mouth. But, there you go, mommy. Good girl. But, yeah, um... Just gave her um some of her dental stick. And she's like, oh, I want to put something else in my mouth. Um, I'll probably end up giving her one of her doggy treats. And even with the doggy treats, like I said, because she is so small, I break it up for her because I don't, I just break it up for her because she's not going to eat it if it's not small but she didn't eat it all. Is that bitter mommy? But that is all of the pretty much all of the items that I have in her doggy bag. Um yeah, those are all of the items that I have in her doggy bag. And I have this here because I like I said she just took a bath so I based her and then I gave her a treatment um the advanced guard two three dogs yeah because right now i'm at my mom's house and my mom has two other dogs which live outside lily is not an outside dog she is an inside dog so when i let her out because my mom my parents their dogs has fleas um please get home my baby and like she's not used to fleas she's not used to fleas at all so um yeah, I got that for her, and then I also had purchased her a, a pill to kill fleas, um, and I had got that from Jeffers. Um, but yeah, it kills fleas, and this like is like a you know like a second protection. Not only did she take the pill, but this will kill like the lava, um, kills the flea eggs and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I got this. This was kind of expensive. This was like $24. $24. Can I just say I went to Jeffers and spent like, it came up to be like $50. Like, and I came in there for one specific thing, but ended up, you know, you know how they go. So, I guess I might as well just go and break this down and just go and throw in Jeffers as well. What I picked up at Jeffers. Um, I got her a Halloween toy. You see, mommy, this is your toy. I got her a Halloween toy. It's like a little pumpkin. And inside of the pumpkin, um, well, it's like two, like, holes on the side. And inside of the pumpkin, we have, like, little bats. Lily, you see that? I think I pulled them from the wrong side. But, yeah, it has, like, two little bats. See? It has two little bats. Where is it two? No, it's actually three. It's three little bats. And they... I'll make the little squeaky noise but yeah I thought this was so cute because more than likely I'm going to take some pictures of her in her little bumblebee costume and this will be a good little um prop item 
in the picture uh, for her. And this was like, what, $9.99 at Jeffers. And then I also picked up, uh, I heard a lot about this, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like new stock. Um, this was like $11.69. And I got this because, like I said, I am in my parents' house. And I don't know if it's the fleas. I don't know. But it irritates her skin. So I got this to put on her skin because, like, she's been, like, very... Her skin has been very irritable, like, on her backside. Not her front side, but her backside. So... Um, this product is non-toxic and safe for all animals, even cats. Um, it stops the itching immediately, promotes fast hair growth, regrows hair, even on old wounds. Um, it is effective on all skin disorders and deep wounds. So, I'm going to try this out. Just got a text message. I'm going to try this out, though. Um, I did apply it one time. Today, I'm going to actually do the uh, second application. And you should apply this to her skin like three times. Uh, I think it's three. Repeat every three days until desired results. So, and I'm going to show you why I got this for her. Um, come in, mommy, baby. But this is why I got this from her, you see? You see like how her hair is like, her hair is all full in the front, but on her backside, like my baby was loosing hair. Like, I mean, it's starting to grow back, but I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So, um, so yeah, that's why I got the new stock for her. Um, so I can see if it works. Hopefully I hope it works. I, like I said, I heard a lot of things. Good things about this product, so I hope that it works for her. Versus me taking to her, her to the vet, and they tell me, oh, it's this, it's this, it's this, it's this. This what I've heard, I mean, it, it heals everything. So, I'm going to try it out, you know. I always try to cheap it, inexpensive route first. Um, so, I'm going to give it, like, a couple of weeks to see what it does. Like I said, I put one application on, and her hair is growing back. Um, so I'm going to do the second application today and hopefully, you know, we get her cleared up, get, get her looking back like herself. Because I do not like that my baby is missing hair on her back end. I do not like that whatsoever. No, mommy don't like that. Mommy don't like that at all, daddy. No, I do not. But yeah, um, so I hope you guys enjoy watching our What's in Lily's doggy bag um please subscribe like let me know what you think and until next time we will see you again say bye bye say bye bye youtubers say bye bye guys but thanks